New at 5, the Marine Corps does not have a Senate confirmed commandant tonight. It's the first time that has happened in more than 160 years. Now this void is all because of one lone senator's dissatisfaction over the Pentagon's abortion policy. The impasse is delaying the smooth transfer of power at the highest echelons of America's armed forces. And Mike Gooding explains. Retiring Commandant of the Marine Corps General David Berger relinquished office, with General Eric Smith taking over as acting Commandant until Berger's permanent replacement is confirmed by the Senate. This marks the first time the Marine Corps is without a confirmed Commandant since Colonel Archibald Henderson died in 1859. Smooth and timely transitions of confirmed leadership are central to the defense of the United States. At issue, Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville, who has been blocking military nominees from Senate confirmation dating back to March. Tuberville is upset about the Pentagon's policy in the wake of the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision to provide paid time off and travel cost reimbursements for service members who travel for an abortion. Last month, the Defense Department's Deputy Press Secretary spoke about Tuberville's blockade. And without these leaders in place, these holds severely limit the department's ability to ensure the right person is in place at the right time. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine in a statement to 13 News Now said, Senator Tuberville's hold is one of the worst examples of inappropriate legislative hostage taking I've seen during my time in the Senate. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Over August and September, the staff chiefs of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs are all scheduled to leave office. If the impasse continues, it'll leave the military with more temporary occupants of those jobs than at any point in history.